Hey guys, you're watching Josh Boy TV, and today I am proud to announce um, one of our presenters at our event, uh, Alex Von Welchek. And he is part of Sky H2O, where they're able to turn atmosphere into drinkable water. So part of our mission here at Global Capital Network and the firm I founded, this investor network, is to fund ideas that can help change the world and that are sustainable um, and help really make an impact, ideally to millions, but even more ideally to billions of people. And this is one of those kind of brands that I really like to support. He'll be presenting in a little to our investor group. We have about 70 or 80 investors here at Pelican Hill. Anyways, can you tell our uh, global audience of investors and some other entrepreneurs and sponsors out there, the press and media, a little bit more about what you guys are up to? Yeah, so Sky H2O is, uh, like you said, we're an impact business. We like to say we're a triple bottom line, people, planet, and profit uh, impact business. What we're doing is we're not just innovating, but we're scaling and advancing atmospheric mm -hmm. water generation for commercial, industrial, and uh, even government purposes. And we believe that atmospheric water generation really is a game-changing, kind of a mm -hmm. disruptive technology as we can now for the first time make fresh water at the location wow. where it's needed. So you don't need to have perhaps infrastructure that may not exist or is decrepit. You can place these systems at critical locations like hospitals, uh, um, military outlets mm. and things of that nature for a time of emergency or, or constant use. So I have you know worked with some some firms doing similar things. So uh, let me ask your feedback on and differentiation and some of the technology. So I've heard some investors give critical feedback that some of these water you know units taking uh, you know turning the air into the water um, can be located too close to hazardous places like paints or other things that can get into the air, which could get into the water. How do you uh, get around that? Do you have, uh, do you have specialized filters that can you know make sure that the the water producing from that air because a lot of air is you know, polluted, right? Uh, how are you ensuring that everything's getting through is a very clean? Yeah, like I mentioned, we're a, a California technology company. We're only um, integrating using the most advanced materials. Uh, in the case of filtration, on the front end, uh, we have a very sophisticated filtration system. It's actually a three-level wow. uh, filtration system that filters the air. And on the back end, as the water is coming out the fresh water, it goes through a UV. So what we're actually oh, putting yeah. out is purified water. The very interesting nice. thing really about what we're doing is we create a very high quality of water. Wow, and how much are you raising right now? Uh, currently we're raising um, about $5 million okay. uh, growth capital that's gonna allow us to ignite our uh, manufacturing and start turning a very substantial uh, pipeline of potential sales, which today is over $200 million into backlog. Wow, and uh, is that through a convertible note or is that pure just stock? Uh, stock, we're raising stock. Uh, stock. Okay. We're basically giving up looking at uh, giving up 15% of the company for about $5 million. Wow. All right, guys. Well, check out Sky H2O. Where can they uh, see, you guys, see more information about you guys? Uh, we're on the web at uh, uh, skyh2oinc.com. That's S-K-Y-H-2-O-I-N-C.com. Uh, we're very accessible, and we'd love to hear from you. And are you guys uh, focusing on international plans at all, or is this really just uh, focus on the states? No, absolutely. It's actually primarily international. We did start the company when California was in an epic drought, but that drought has gone away. We've for now. We for now. <laughs> uh, we've pivoted, and our very substantial sales pipeline that we have is 90% coming from faraway places, for mostly the Middle East and the Mediterranean region, which is uh, very much having significant uh, water stress. So do you see this as uh, definitely an alternative for desalination, or do you think that's still still a need to desalinate you know, the ocean water to turn into drinkable water? Do you think this is a, a, long, a better long-term strategy or that they are more hand-in-hand? -hand? Um, I would say that uh, to um, uh, overcome the serious water problems we have uh, forthcoming, it, we really need all hands on deck. Mm -hmm. But I would say that atmospheric water generation has its place as a solution because in our case, we can make the water where it's needed, and again, uh, it uh, mimics nature, it works in harmony with nature, so it's really one of these technology solutions that's uh, turning gray infrastructure into green infrastructure. I don't want to talk too much about desalination, yeah, no yeah. but that's perhaps not quite as environmentally friendly as what we do. Okay, fair enough. All right, guys, well, thank you for checking it out. Sky H2O, thank you so much for coming on board, Alex. Thanks, I'm looking forward it. to having you present in a little bit to our investors as well. Thank you. All right, guys. Appreciate it.